welcome, welcome, welcome to the Heapy Podcast, Miami Heapy Post Game Show. I'm your host, Giancarlo Navas, and with me today, <clears throat> I barely have a voice. I'm, I'm, I had a little too much fun yesterday. So we're going to get through this together. With me today, we got Saucy Takes Coach Lou. Fuck the NBA, man. All right. <laughs> we'll get into that in a second. We got On to our Frankie, man. On to Frankie. Frankie G. Ah, uh, where's that defense that he preach about? God damn. Chat's just calling Scott Foster a fucking loser. I don't know why, but I, I'm in it. I, I'm I'm down, bro. I'm I'm fucking down. Why why is he a loser, chat? For the lame violation for w- which part? Which part? Let let us know in the comments, guys. Miami Falls, Indiana, one fifteen to one seventeen. A game that the way that I experienced it was a a, a a student trying to finish their homework that's due at midnight at eleven. That's when they start, and that's how the Heat fourth quarter felt. The Heat second half. They're like, you know what? I think we should make up for all the mistakes we made all season. How many minutes did, did Jimmy like pass 40 minutes tonight? I'm just like, who are they? What the fuck are they doing? Where was this second half urgency all fucking year? I have so many things that I was upset about. Lou literally came on and his first response was fuck the NBA. That's what he said when he got into the call. He just said, fuck the NBA. Jimmy played 38 minutes. Guys, This team cannot have urgency at the 11th hour. I'm sick of it. And frankly, they deserved the result today. They got their ass. They had, there was a point with four minutes left in the the second quarter. They had nine points against the 24th ranked defense in the league. In fucking excusable. On a night where Jimmy was actually trying. I don't even know what to say. I'm just, I'm bewildered. I'm beside myself. I'm upset. And frankly, I'm fucking sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it, guys. I, I Feel free to jump in. I am <laughs> really, really just throwing a, just throwing a pass. You're just, just throwing like, it up. Somebody jump for the ball, please. It's like the fucking Tyler free throw. So, you know, one of you guys come in a lane violation. <laughs> oh, my God, man. It, it's just disappointing, bro. Like, the the lack of urgency defensively. Like, this is supposed to be your identity. What vibe am I killing? The great vibe that they said. <laughs> Chat saying I'm killing the vibe. Me. I'm killing the vibe, not Spo challenging the one fucking foul that we all knew was a foul, not the 70 million other ones, <laughs> but that one, or was it the fucked up hero or love or whatever fucking up the lane violation? Was that the good? I, what chat? Tell me the vibe that I killed because I feel that somehow me being NBA Karen is somehow a better vibe than whatever the fuck they just did in Indianapolis. Lou, I love that G is wearing the, the ALO fucking penis hat with matching the t-shirt and that. Yeah. I'm not just matching. I'm matching the shorts. Oh, God. Don't get up. Don't get up. Oh, my <laughs> God. I'm, I'm Too much. <sighs> we, do, we don't need you to see I, your I, balls. I had the Lulu bag, too. I had, I had a Lulu. I had a black Lulu bag, so. <laughs> Chat Man. saying I'm right. Chat saying I'm fucking right. And I'm glad. I hate uh, them. Nah, um, yeah, no. No, oh, Carliana, don't leave. I love you. Don't leave. <laughs> we're, 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 we'll, we'll fix the vibe. Now, chat. Come on. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just tired. That, I, I'm, I'm disappointed that the Heat just continue to deserve to lose. Like, there's, there's too many games where they honestly deserve to lose. Like, as, as if you're watching them, they're coming out unprepared, unready, unfocused, undisciplined from the get go, repeatedly, and important games. Uh, the lack of execution and focus is is one thing, uh, but just the lack of effort. Like this is not the, the Miami Heat teams that we're used to and accustomed to, especially an Eric Spolster led team, a veteran laden team, a, a group that's been together numerous playoff runs, numerous finals runs. Like they should be, they, they should be getting up for these important games. And every single time they have a chance that it's an important game, 
they fail to show up or they show up really fucking late. They do they not know there's time zone? Did do they forget the fucking game started? It's fucking bullshit. No. Game after game, all season long, and they did this shit last year, and they didn't learn from it. Now they're they're likely stuck in the play in again at their own fucking fault. I don't want to blame any fucking refs. This is their own fucking fault. No, yeah, they fucking suck today. Uh, like Frankie said, game started at five. Uh, they just didn't read it was five Eastern. They started playing after halftime, and it's just the like nobody's getting up for these games. Like it feels like. It feels like the whole team doesn't get up at the same time. Like, you have spurts of this guy and spurts of this guy. Shout out Nico. He's the only one who showed up the whole fucking day. But, like, it's just a bunch of, like, what are we, like, this is not the Miami Heat that I fell in love with. Mm -hmm. And what happened, what happened to the game I love? From somebody who <laughs> still believes they have what it takes to do something similar to what they did last year. This is yeah. But it's just so difficult to stay on this fucking bridge <laughs> Don't jump. because they show no passion. How are we doing a post-game show with more passion? This is ridiculous. Because we're just sick of it, bro. I, I, so I, and I'm, I'm like so that he have me in the Genjutsu, right? They'll trick me. They go on that run. I, I switch Charlie seats. Brown us every fucking time. I fucking I switch seats. Because you know what? At the end of the day, I I feel helpless. I'm just a small man in a big universe, and I, I don't know what I can do. And I just think, you know, if, if I change seats and if they play well, maybe <laughs> it makes me feel better. If they And it did. And I changed seats, and I stayed there. My phone had 3% battery, and I didn't move because I was like, this is helping. They have me crazy. They have me yeah. insane. I, I hate people them. off the couch. I told them to go outside. The dog was barking. My girl sat next to me. That's when they started cooking. She went to let the dog out. I grabbed her. I said, baby, just please give me these six seconds. <laughs> That's not the first time Lou said that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God damn. Put not that. the first time. <laughs> and won't be the last. But God, like, man, just, oh my God. man, hey, it's just so much. I'm pissed at so much today. It's That's not just the heat. Things. Oh, man. The sign's not up. They're saving my FPL bill. Like, this is ridiculous, man. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather pay for the FPL bill, man. Like, come on, bro. So, like, let's let's talk about that. Let's talk about the game and like, kind of like the flow of it. So, Miami <clears throat> starts off switching a lot. And I, I understand the thinking behind that. They're like, okay, well, let's, let's cut off Halliburton's playmaking, right? By switching, you know, we either force him to be a scorer and we kind of take away. Because when you drop, you kind of give some space. You, you open up those passing angles and Halliburton finished tonight uh, with eight assists, which I think if you tell the heat, they probably take that. Uh, he had and they're scoring 12, yeah. 12 points, 12 points on three yeah. for 10 shooting uh, took seven threes. Uh, a lot of them were, were not good. Only got to the line four times. So if you're Miami, you're just like that worked, right? It yeah. was really the McConnell stuff. And when they were going at, they kept finding hero Duncan and Jovic. Hunter and our whites, man. Yeah, they they were just, uh, the the leches were. You call them Django. They were hunting. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, absolutely. Like there was, uh, you know, Tyler Tyler did some of the things in the fourth. But if we're talking about in the first quarter in particular, there was six straight points that Tyler gave up, and it wasn't just because like, just because he wasn't good enough defensively. He just wasn't focused. Like it was, uh, the first one was like a screen. Jalen Smith came on the roll, and Tyler is just, like, he didn't tag the roller, easy pass, two points, then Siakam right back at him, and then McConnell right back at him, and it's just, like, little things that, it's frustrating, man. Uh, uh, Nico got cooked in the first quarter. I want to say after Absolutely. that, he 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 started to hold his own. There were several times where, you know, Halliburton, but it's just, they just looked discombobulated the entire first half. So many times, the Pacers were screening Ahead of the ahead of time, ahead of the ball getting there, especially in the zone. And it was just a wide open lane for McConnell to get to. And I'm like, hi Smith, Caleb, can we like are we they've they've ran the same play three times? I shouldn't be. I'm sitting on my couch for a reason. I'm not good enough to play basketball, but I shouldn't be here. Like it, they're gonna do it again. It keeps working and nobody's helping. And it's just like, ah, oh, fuck it. Just funnel them inside. And like McConnell's 10 for 11 again at some point in this fucking game. And looks better than the entire offense we were running. Ah, oh, front. I'm, I'm. Lou, Lou's just upset. Lou's just absolutely upset. I mean, the Heat 
the Heat not be able to score Frankie was really just predictable. The, uh, <laughs> not just, you know what? I'm actually, I'm a sucker. I thought they scored today. I thought Jimmy looked kind of like he had his his gear. You know, he had he had his his his, his car in you know at least third year today mm-hmm. early, and I'm like, okay, uh, are we you know going to the rim? His finishing is abysmal, and Horrible. I've been saying that all year, and it's just just not getting better. It's crazy, but regardless, I, I thought with the aggression that he showed, I was like, and Indiana just not being a good defense. I I, I expected them. You know, I, I guess they scored 115, so they got there. But you cannot have a nine point. You know what I mean? Like whatever they scored in that in that second quarter, which I'll I'll pull up the numbers right now. They scored 22, but they it was like 22. Yeah, they a lot of on, it was came on late. Yeah, later in the second quarter. The it first just, there was too many. Uh, yeah. There was too many fucking swings on in in there. Not not just runs. It's fucking Jimmy getting a contact at the at the rim and not and then not getting back. They're coming the other way and they get attacking transition just repeatedly. This happened repeatedly. Happened to Nico. Happened to Tyler. Happened to everybody on the fucking team. And it's just like, dude, you're already down twenty. You're fighting back. You need extra possessions. You're you keep giving them extra possessions, and they came down to one fucking possession because they didn't do enough. It was just fucking frustrating. Just the, the lack of effort, man. Co- rather complain than fucking do your fucking job and and get back. You're you complaining isn't gonna change the fucking call. You're it, it's not gonna do anything for you. It's not gonna do anything in the positive for you. I promise you. I've coached. I've watched basketball. I've never seen a call a ref go. You know what? My bad. Let's t- turn it around right now. Stop the play. Let's turn this shit around. That's a soccer thing. They'll do it. They'll do it in football. Like in, it's in, fucking in, bullshit. It's, it's so, so annoying. Funny. I've hated it since Dwayne Wade did it. Okay, this isn't just a this year team. Yeah, but when he did it, it was okay. No, it wasn't because the fucking Spurs it's, almost won in 2013 because he. Kept it's doing never that. okay to just fucking argue with the ref in the middle it. of a live play. Literally. Literally, Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum has really taken that mantle as like the die. He just does it. Sometimes like they'll call a foul for him and he'll argue. He'll be like, "I, I think I should have gotten two fouls." <laughs> <laughs> Give him the tech two. Give him the tech two. He's, he's crazy, dude. He's crazy. No, nah, man, it, it's just frustrating because uh, you know the offense. I I expected it to be. Uh, a little bit of a struggle. They're they're gonna they're gonna always go through stretches. They're they're not a talented offensive team, but just defensively, it's just getting cooked on isolations, getting uh, cooked in help, could it, cooked all over the place. Zone, uh, man, man. handsy uh, could not fucking contain T.J. McConnell for their fucking life. I'm so tired of that white man cooking this team repeatedly. The unseasoned J.J. Barea, salt and pepper J.J. Fucking just repeatedly anywhere he wants. He did it. He did it the for the race war. He did it. He did it for the. Oh my the, god, the, the the race war video that the Heat put out where they had Heat players select who'd win between Iowa and uh, South Carolina. If you guys didn't see that video, Jamal uh, Kane, bro, we're just every every player with uh, with light complexion picked Iowa, and and all of them except for Jamal Kane picked South Carolina. It's quite funny. It, it was really it was really the funniest video of the day. Um. Really, the only thing that the Heat did today that made me happy. I mean, and and Spo played the like Spo played this fucking to to win today. He played uh, t- ten guys, but short leash on Duncan, short leash on on Terry, Kevin. Kevin played seven minutes. I he, I actually think that that's going to be like more common than we think in a lot of matchups. Oh, absolutely. Like, yeah, it, and, a lot of these I, guys are matchup dependent. Bro, and uh, Frankie, like the fact that they didn't play Terry and Hero together, I thought was really telling. I agreed with the decision. Also, they're playing Nico, so like I think like, for sure you can't play like Nico Terry and him together. But uh, that was that was like certainly like an interesting thing for me. Oh, I mean, it, before the game, it, it it seemed like Terry was questionable with like injury. So uh, oh, was with, he? Like, I missed. Yeah, that. I I thought he wasn't even gonna play. Somebody I saw somebody say he wasn't gonna play. And then he started and and he struggled today. Never got a. I mean, he never really got a chance to get going either. Yep. Uh, just the flow of the game and and you know at that you know you need this game so it's not really a chance to like wait and see for these kind of guys. Um, but it was just disappointing, man. Just the the lack of effort uh, until later in the game. Uh, just l- lack of discipline, man. Just such an undisciplined effort. And I, I I'm frustrated with it. That the 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 defense. Everybody, you know. It even it was even Bam and Jimmy playing bad defense at times. Ty Smith couldn't contain, couldn't move his feet. Uh, di- wasn't allowed to be physical either. But you know you gotta you gotta rise up to the occasion and and adjust. Yeah, shout out to Bronx Joker for the eighteen. Says he playing. Goddamn, 
He playing goddamn is right. That should be the. That's gonna be the. You know what? That's gonna be the pod title today. Heat. Hello, playing goddamn. What? Uh, nah. God damn. Keep playing with our emotions. Keep playing with our emotions. Oh, that actually that's the title. Keep play in with our uh, Frankie. See, that's content. Frankie, that's off content. the dome. Off, off the, the dome. Fucking dome. That's content. Frankie's playing. more locked in than the entire team in the Chat's first. blaming yeah. Scott Foster. We're not <laughs> Scott Foster is like he may, he, yeah, I, I think the lane violate uh Crotty was right that it wasn't on Kevin, it was on Tyler. It was, on Tyler. It was. but uh, they're they're missed calls on both ends, and they lost because they lost because of the first quarter. I got to be honest with you, I didn't think that Siakam. That, I don't think Siakam fouled Tyler on the three. I mean, we we take those, uh, but I didn't feel that was it. It was like a touch foul, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Like if that was called against Miami, I would be fucking furious. Yeah, and I want to I, I want to keep the same energy because like I'm just like. Nah, I, I don't know. That's like Ty, and and that fucking pull up t- uh in transition down five when dude, I hated that. That was, oh, that was so God. bad. Such a, such such a, a bad yeah. shot. Dude, that oh, shit pissed me off, bro. I could I was like, what the fuck are you doing? So I, I like look down and I look up and I was like, did this guy just really pull up? And I guess they got a hand on it, so it looked extra bad. And there was, was yeah, he he high fived them. He high fived them. That's just dope. oh man. Man, 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 man. Just a tough. I don't want to blame Scott Foster no, because it's not that's tough. it's not right. But you know who I will. You know who I will take a take a little shot at here. I'm looking at you, Adam Simon. I'm looking at you. I'm tired of this Cannot stupid ass this. rule, man. I'm so tired of this. Wait, you said Adam. Did you say Adam Simon? Yeah, you said, said Adam Simon. I was like the scouting. Oh department. yeah. Whoops. Whoops. Time out. That's time out. Like, like, really? Like, like, really? Oh, take take take, take Tiff's comment off. We'll we, get it on after. We, I was like, what? I was like, what did Adam Simon do, bro? Yeah, I was <laughs> like, hard for I was like shit. Jamal Kane. I know Jamal. I'm not a Jamal Kane too for voting for Iowa. But <laughs> this is not on Adam Simon. <laughs> Adam Silver. Jesus Christ. Adam Silverman, I'm talking Silverman? to you, <laughs> Adam Silverman. Adam Silverman. Yes, Adam Silver. <laughs> Adam Silverman. Go ahead, Lou. Go ahead, Lou. Adam, Adam Silverman. Silver, I'm just tired of this bullshit, man. I'm tired of teams purposely fouling instead of just playing defense with six seconds left. I mean, we're gonna get into the 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 first attempt at us trying to get a three off with six seconds and what's both called and how bad the play was orchestrated but how the idea was pretty decent but like the the pacers not just the pacers because not just a heat thing like this happens too much in basketball in general if you're down a pos- if you're up a possession and you're defending if you foul it's a free throw and the ball for the other team it should not be two free throws and it's a forced miss who has like like you know they're not going to grab an offensive rebound not just miami just in general it's not it's not like this isn't this isn't what you would want to see in a game seven of a finals is the way I look at it. I want to see a shot go up. I don't want to see a free throw mm-hmm. being missed on purpose. I'm done. I'm done. That, that's all. I, I agree. Mean. I agree with that. Uh, no, I, like, I, I, th- I think missing the free throw on purpose is kind of based. Yeah, I think you're wrong there. Nah, I, I like, I, th- I want the I shot. Think, I think that's hype. I just think that I think missing the free throws hype. I want the shot. When, when the coaches have already figured a way to work around it with the, the foul up three, like, you, you need to adjust the rule. I think the like, follow-up this, is lame. This, this but, is, but that's, that's what I'm saying. It's that's not a, even like, a, I think, so like, with, sorry, Frankie, go ahead. Uh, no, no, I'm just going to say, like, it, it's not a rule, like, internationally and in lower levels. If you inter- intentional foul, when they're not going for a shot like that, that's that's a shot and the ball. Like Lou so, said, we but, can do so, this at the NBA. But that play is different, and that's why it's so smart, because he went for a steal. And that's why I think that that, like, that particular foul call is brilliant. Because he goes for the steal, but he goes for it like really aggressively in which he either gets the steal. And if he doesn't get the steal, he fouls because he made a play on the ball. You know what G, I mean? It w- G, to me, free throwing the ball regardless. I'm not just saying because it's Miami. But like, I'm saying, I, like, I, I, we, I hate we, gotta, like, we don't want to. I don't want to see a free throw shooting competition. No, that's fine. I, don't disagree. Basketball I, I, game. Just, I think that that was an instance of like. They're not just fouling like a guy that's no, standing no. still. Yeah. He, he went did, for a steal. He sold for the steal like he was supposed to, knowing that, look, if I don't get the steal and I foul, we still win the game. It's, it's genius. You, It's a win-win. Of win. course. Like, you get it's, the steal, game's over. It's it's a genius, genius thing, Carlisle and, and the you. Pacers. I agree but it's a that, stupid fucking yeah, I move. agree. But I think that, like, that instance, I was like, yeah, no, that's, if you're going to do it, that's the way you do it. That, that's how it's called, though. You make a play on the ball. That's is, how it's called. If you make a play on the ball, that it's it's just uh, a regular foul. 
it's not a not a a shot and the ball. Charles but, Barkley once said, "I would only foul up when I'm up three. I would only foul if the if somebody's back is turned, because that way you can't yeah. like do like a a real right. shooting what, motion. Like if they're in front of you, yeah. I I've always thought that that's like kind of like which really is, smart. Which is going back to the spo play, the first one, which I was even like, what the fuck is this? Like the spacing was horrible, but like the idea I did enjoy because they were just trying to get something up because they knew." The Pacers were gonna foul. Like I, I feel like that's what they did because they were just trying to get a catch and shoot three. Like there was six seconds left, but they ran a play like it was point eight for seconds. for which shot? For the first the, shot, the first shot that they uh, blew the, up that the, that they like that they tipped out of bounds and then they ran from the other side. I I fully believe that they like Spo ran that play to like get a catch and shoot three off. Yeah, they were just did. on it, and it was you know this you could say the spacing was bad, and I agree, but like you shouldn't have to succumb to. You know, that with six seconds left on the shot clock, we should like let the NBA players do what they're supposed to do. You know, like, you know, like this is this. Yeah. Play basketball. Like we we're supposed to let them play back. Like it's not a free throw shooting competition that they have to miss and grab an offensive rebound. And I'm not just saying this because the heat this happened to the I tweeted it before the fucking. No, no, no. I'm with I'm with you. It's it's goofy, man. But I do think I do think that like trying to miss a free throw is like pretty beast. I think that's pretty hype. Uh, I guess I I don't I disagree strongly. I'd rather get see shots. Yeah, no, uh, Frankie wants fucking Frankie wants good old basketball the way Naismith. I hate I hate foul, fouling up three. I, as a coach, I hate it. I want to see the play. I want to hate it like because out of principle you hate it because you think it's stupid. I think it's stupid. I th- I want to I mean, see like, the like play when basketball. I ask it like stupid like you think like it's stupid as in like a poor like optimal str- like it's a suboptimal strategy. I think no, it's, no. It's I think it's, it's a lame. smart strategy. It's a smart it's strategy, lame. but I, I don't think it's, it's, I don't think it should be allowed. I think it's lame. Lame as fuck. I want to see them play basketball. I do not want to see the coming You know down what else is lame? And shit like that. I, I, there's so much. I mean, I think. Oh, but I, I want to talk about the last, the, the, the inbound play. Yeah. So, so Lou, uh, like you said, I completely agree with you. And I also think that when they're, especially when they're up three, when they're down three and they need a three to go, they need to – Jimmy or Bam needs to fucking inbound. It can't be – I was. we were talking before the show about it should have been or Kevin because uh, he's a better passer. But if Jimmy and Bam are both in the game, they're not going to be – they're going to be fucking ignored, and we don't want them shooting the three anyways. One of them needs to inbound the yeah. ball. So, so you have more – You should one also more back door off the, off the inbound. Yeah. So, like, you are a threat in the, in the play. Exactly, but that's two guys we don't like. If the, if they shoot the three, the defense is living with that, and they're both oh, two of our better passers. I would much and and with size, Bam, you have Bam, the versatility. Bam's a shooter now, huh? Bam's a shooter now. Bam is. I mean, they can't shoot the ball, but I we want the we want the higher level shooters shooting I'd the ball. I'd rather fucking Cole Swider shooting the ball than Jimmy at this point. Uh no, nah, I'm so with Jimmy. No, I never. Just, I never want to see. I never want to see Jimmy shoot a three. I'm nah, fucking dude. tired of this he guy. Has, he has the fucking. Nah, he has it. No, and and then and then. Uh, I don't know what the what happened in the timeout, but Tyler's got to know if uh, you know on the counter play. Six seconds left. They're gonna f- look to foul you up three. Don't be going away from the play, trying to ISO. Uh, be aggressive. Look for that shot quick. And and that, that's just a mistake on their part. They. I mean, they like we said, they lost in the first uh, half. Uh, multiple runs, and every time they they got close, they they let another run come in right after they got uh, it was they cut it to eight and then back to 20. It, it happened that like was, six times, bro. So that's annoying. when I thought the game was over because I I, th- I tweeted at some point, I was like, if you get the game to eight, for me, I'm like, you get it to eight, that's so manageable, like that's you a can, close game, you can do that. And I and it's funny because, like, obviously, like nine, eight, whatever, but I, yeah. I just thought that like eight was like. I thought eight should have been the goal. Like, end, end the third right. within eight. And at that point, I think you can outscore Indy by eight and a quarter. Like, I think that you're good enough, in theory, to do that. They're different things. Um, yeah, bro, it's like, it's just so frustrating. And, and they just, it, it, and they find, I guess my thing is too, like, they just find a new way to lose, bro. Uh, today, <laughs> today, bro, I was like, I didn't think they'd lose off a lane violation, miss free throw, but he, here we are. I, I don't know. I don't know. No guts. Uh, man, 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 man. It's it's frustrating. It's definitely frustrating. There was some stints there in that third quarter, like like you guys said, like it. We got it to nine, and then literally, like less than a minute later, it's eighteen again. Yeah. And then two minutes later, it's eight, and we're good. And then another minute later, it's sixteen, and it's like. 
can we just string together some stops? Like, we're supposed to hang the hat on defense, but the defense doesn't look that pretty when the other team goes five out. Right. And uh, newsflash, we're right now probably going to be in the fucking plane. If we play (laughs) Boston, all they do is five out. So Philly, I believe, lost. No, they haven't. It, it's in halftime. Oh, it's at halftime. I, everybody, I, I just saw a chat saying, "Thank you, Spurs." Yeah, they're, the Spurs are up ten. So, okay, um, and beat it. And beat is not playing though. I do know that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm rooting for Wemby today for sure. <laughs> uh, I don't think I don't think Lowry's playing either. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but shout out to Nico. Uh, yeah. Great yes. fourth man. Caleb. Caleb came out to play. Uh, really efficient. I eight for Dude, ten. Yeah. Shout out to Caleb. Uh, uh, you know, Tyler got cooked defensively, but offensively gave him a lot of juice, in the, especially in the fourth. 13 points. I think he had, like, finished, like, 14 in the fourth uh, out of his 21. Huge. Really brought him back. Just not enough. Uh, Bam got off to a slow start, picked it up in the third. But, you know, overall, a meh night from him. Uh, Jimmy, meh. Like, uh, I felt I felt like and, – and Lou, it's like you said, when they go to five out – against the heat they spread them out and they just attack you got a pressure they got a pressure point at no matter who's on the floor there's no two-way lineup that the heat can can consistently have this year there's no five unit guys that there isn't a pressure point they're always that, that that's what was missing from last year that max Struess, as as inconsistent as he is is more is at at, at his best he can be a two-way guy and so look at game, yeah. and they they miss that. They don't have those units. They're, they're they not don't. below average defenders. Exactly. They they can yeah. peak. They can peak at a slightly above average defender at max. Mm-hmm. And and he's solid size. And they can't just get a pressure point. This year you got Duncan, you've got Tyler, you've got uh, Nico at times, uh, Kevin at times, and it's just it's for, and, and Terry as well. And uh and it's yep. hard to really cover for them with guys that can can play on the other end as well. Highsmith, uh, you know, chat. I think it was um, Carla Tiana talking about oh, Highsmith got one shot tonight. Yeah, and and that's one of your better two way guys, especially he's been shooting the ball really well lately. Got only got got one shot minus thirteen. Team worst minus thirteen tonight. And bro, uh, Lou had been saying prior to this that like, he's been their best bench player. But, yep, in, in yeah. the last month. Yeah, about about two three weeks now that he had been. Today just, you know, it wasn't his day. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of that minus 13 was, you know, just due to the fact that they were playing zone and they could not get a stop in zone. Um, I didn't understand why they were playing zone when they had, it was like Bam, Highsmith. Um, they had Bam, Highsmith, and Caleb on the floor and they were playing zone. And I was like, what are we? So doing? frustrated. So frustrated. Because like, it carried. What's the point? It carried over from the. Uh, from the Kevin Love minutes, and they tried to remain in the zone, and it just made zero sense to me. Uh, this is, you know, for as good as Love has been this year, this was one of his, um, one of his, you know, worst it's a bad matchup recently. for him. Yeah, it's just a bad matchup. Um, and to be very honest, I think, you know, looking forward, I think this fully cements as like Nico's going to keep playing, and he deserves to keep playing. He deserves to keep starting and keep getting these runs because he's shown enough, in my opinion, since he's became a starter, just the level of improvement and consistency that he's provided from a position where they've been inconsistent. Yeah. Basically, if I'm being honest, since they had P.J. Tucker there. Um, no, bro, and he was because and, and really, they've been inconsistent at that position since LeBron. Because like yeah. Lou, Lou always yeah. here since oh, James well, actually, Johnson. I'll give him this since since JJ. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Since James Johnson, they had a stretch there with Crowder that wasn't too bad either. But, but, but what I'm saying is that like those guys are here yeah. for a year and then they're gone. Exactly. Yeah. And and he and not only has he shown, I think personally, he's shown a lot of growth so far this season. But now he's being trusted as a backup five at times. And they were winning in those minutes with him as a backup five at times. I think he- that that's one of the most important things that he needs to figure out because they in the playoffs, there's going to be matchups where they just want to be as flexible as possible. And he mm-hmm. has the build to play that really small five. Like, hey, man, can you give us six minutes? Like, no. I think I think he can play, you know, against – it depends who they match up with. But, like, if we're talking like Boston – I think he could do that against Boston, be be a, a backup five against Boston, just because they don't really have a 
like bruisers in the paint, like right. you know, against Embiid. Obviously, I, I, even I don't think, think he so. can survive like minutes against Porzingis. Like if it's you know what I mean. Or yeah, like, yeah, which is what I'm saying. If they play Denver, if it's like Aaron Gordon, like can you survive against Aaron Gordon? Like these fours that play backup five because. Let's be mm -hmm. real. A lot of backup fives in this league are just not. They're just power forwards. Defensive. Well, they're just not good defensively, right? And they just don't yeah. survive, you know. And they can't really like take advantage of a mismatch. Like it's it's really like Kevin Love is like one of the very few who can take advantage of a mismatch. And even even him, it's like inconsistent. Uh, just because of the, his size, he's he's a smaller backup five. But yeah, no, I, I absolutely agree with that, uh, Lou. Especially, uh, but you know, they this is also a long term thing where they have to get power wings to kind of complement him when 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 he's because he's on the smaller side. Like you know, we talked a lot about Aaron Gordon uh, showing out at the five in the finals, but it was also because they had Jeff Green, who's uh, six nine, bouncy, two thirty, and strong, and and he wasn't getting. Yep. Uh, bodied inside by by Jimmy, like Jimmy, Jimmy is best at the four, but he's still small. He's six six. They're, he's best day. at the four, depending on the matchup. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I mean. Uh, and and they don't really have the versatile that that complementary Jay Crowder, PJ Tucker wing next to him. That's a bruiser that can handle those bruisers and and can help and complement on on the offensive end. So that that's where they really need to see uh, uh, Tristan De Silva. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't get me started, man. Yeah, me. Like, no, I'm just like, kidding. No, but like, yeah, like Frankie's saying, like, you know, playing the the playing with the small five isn't an issue if your four also happens to be semi a small five. Like, does that kind right. of make exactly. sense? Exactly, exactly. But, but the Heat don't have that luxury. Like, uh, you know, in the minutes Jovic is out there as a back of five, like Jimmy's at the four, and we know Jimmy doesn't like playing the four. He'd rather be a two. And then you have Caleb, who we know is not a four, and it's just a bunch and of the Enheim. It's like it's like the three small forwards next to him. The three fucking stooges down there, <laughs> <laughs> trying to see who plays a four, and nobody wants you because like nobody should. Nobody in theory should, man. Three, three and a half. <laughs> chat, chat. Did Highsmith say something? Well, why are you guys asking about like Highsmith? No, no, comment? it was the the comment about uh from Tiff that, that they're asking. Oh, okay, about. okay. Uh, no, it, it, yeah, bro. It's, it's just a, a, a roster. Like, like they have 10 good players in their rotation and credit to them. Like, like Lou, you've talked a lot about how, how much you like this team and like how you think they've improved. I, I just think the, the lack of a two way lineup that you can trust on, uh, yeah. it, is one of the biggest, uh, faults of this year's lineup. Cause Jaime, Jaime was one of the guys we were talking about closing in December, but that's when his shot was falling. And now he's, he's gone from potentially closing in the playoffs to playing 13 minutes in a must win game. Yeah. To probably being out of the playoff rotation. If the team was healthy, like if we're being realistic. Yeah. And, and Highsmith, uh, you know, he's not, he's, he's uh, picked it up as of late, but you needed him tonight and he couldn't, he couldn't get shots off. Um, and the defensively, you know, you, you gave up 117 uh, to a, one of the best offenses in the, the league, but you held Tyrese Halliburton to 12 points and eight assists. And if you told me before the game, we're holding Tyrese Halliburton to 12 points and eight assists, I'm thinking we're winning this game. Frankie, if I tell you just Indiana scores 117, what's your reaction? I, so, I, I think we probably lose because that's, that's, that's a loss. That's a loss. But you give up if you tell me we're giving up 117. Uh, what, not what if that. I tell you they score 115? Hold on, hold on, because 117. And I would, I if you tell me Tyrese score gets 12 and eight and they score 117, I'm like, oh, they shot the shit out of the ball. They shot 28 percent from three. They didn't even get 10 threes to fall, and they still could not do anything because they couldn't contain on the perimeter. They couldn't close out no matter zone or man. They were attacking the paint relentlessly dishing it off dumping it off to people and just playing off of each other and and the heat had nothing to do to stop them nothing yeah i'm so sick of them bro ah, i'm tired pull up the 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 tiff comment you want me to pull up the tiff comment yes i want to talk about i smith okay. uh what she said answer her and then chat's asking if you can sage steering the eclipse <laughs> um I, i'll talk to my energy lady we'll see what we got <laughs> Uh, Tiff goes, Frankie, you said adjust problem with this team. They settle into the settlement of guys not playing Hollywood. Haywood is gone. He doesn't adjust well to playing and being featured to playing and being a standby. Yeah. It's just, just this year has been so like, and this build has been riddled with inconsistency of guys playing and availability and effort, you know, starting with, with 22 
Yeah, you know, I say I we talk about this a lot um, off the chat, but we, I feel like we don't talk about it on, on the podcast enough. The, t- you know, credit to Jimmy. I love Jimmy. I I will not trade these five years for anything. Uh, yeah. And and I'm grateful for him. And, and playoff Jimmy is awesome. All that shit. But there comes a point, and and we're seeing it this season. We might be seeing it this season, where his inconsistency in the lineup. 15 games missed every year, I, I believe it is. And then another 15 games where he's bullshitting, he's trolling, and he, his effort is, is questionable. That fucking wears on guys because they their inconsistency, they, they're, the offense is built around him. Jimmy's not an easy player to just play with. You need shooting around him. You need size around him. You need a certain kind of players around him. And that and that trickles on guys. Guys get worn out during the season. Guys have to look at Duncan. He shouldn't be out there. He clearly is not a hundred. He's not seventy five percent. Doesn't look like it, and is hurting the team. And you got guys like Highsmith who get get some consistency going, and and it um it's it's consistently inconsistent with this team because they consistently do not know who's available. They do not know who's uh, functionally available, and. Yep. And that's the fucking problem. They can't. The last two seasons, they have not been able to build any kind of stability and consistency or identity in the regular season. If if it wasn't for that fucking Max in the in the last four minutes of the playoff in game, <laughs> we, we would not be talking about this fucking core. They would have blown this shit up. They took that that core and and fucking believed in that that build way in 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 their fucking selves way too much. They believed right. in the playoff run over the the truth of the fucking season all all year. Frankie, Max Truce is not walking through that door. At this point, we need more than Max Truce. (laughs) We just need. We just need. We just, yeah, man. We need that energy, Lady G. Man, that's frustrating. Let's, let's, uh, you know, let's close out the show with this. Are are we serious? Do we actually need the energy, Lady? Do we? Yes. You don't think... Have you? Oh, so no, actually, save it for the play-in. That's what I'm. That's, I was thinking the playoffs. Like, if yeah. we can't get through the play-in without help from a higher power, should we really? <laughs> should we really waste it? No. Uh, I feel like they I gotta. They not. gotta earn that shit. You know what I mean? No, we definitely need it for later. You sage now. That thing's worn off by round one. I I I I just don't think that they deserve it until they show us something. We don't even need to sage the team. We just need to sage the injury facility so people stop going <laughs> in there. Like, is there some kind of like denial curse so people don't go in there anymore? Like, that'll make me so fucking happy. I I bet you they found their their trainers from Hialeah, like what I did way. That's where it's like a medical center. That's where the, these fucking oh, that training would be staffs have come. So funny. Like, oh yeah, people, oh yeah, people, the team, they, they look at Duncan, they look at Duncan's back, and she goes, Sana, Sana, Culito, Rana. Yeah, we're like, so, put some Vicks vapor rub on it. <laughs> that's it, that's hey, it. Beaks, Dale, Bobby, Dale, Bobby, Beaks. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. This is we're so fucked. frustrating. <sighs> yeah, I just, they just, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm, I'm sick of it. Big Baburu. Uh, yeah, Baburu. No, Chad, Chad agrees. Chad said, go watch WrestleMania 40. I'm a fucking adult. I, I'm not gonna watch WrestleMania. <laughs> I'm gonna go watch, I'm gonna go watch anime like a self-respecting adult. That's a good one. Yo, shout out to Sound Euphonia, my favorite anime. Season three started today. We're so back, baby. Listen, my day's been shit. You guys don't understand. Liverpool got their ass kicked today. It was pretty embarrassing. They lost to one of the worst teams in the Premier League. Well, they tied, but it was like a loss. So one of the worst teams though. in the Premier League. Uh, it was pretty fucking embarrassing losing to to Man United like that. Tying to Man United is just is a disgrace. Honestly, I, I I felt like we were gonna lose as soon as the Marlins won. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we can't we can't have nice things. Is the problem? <laughs> the city, the city, the city is, is cooked. The city is cooked. Uh, the UN basketball team lost ten games in a row before the season ended to not make it to the tournament. Did they? The Mar- yeah, yeah. The Marlins just. Doing Marlins things. The Dolphins, Coach, I don't give a shit Coach about, L honestly. Washed? What happened? Is Coach, oh. L, is Coach L washed? Coach L is on my Humana Medicare plan. This, this is a rebuilding year for the Gators. Is, is that a HIPAA violation? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, lose, lose cooked. I'm cooked. <laughs> lose cooked. The uh, secret's out. What, what's our schedule for the week as we get out of here? Uh, uh, what, what, the, what the plan is. 
They so have, they have five games left. Four games. They have four games left because today was one of the five. So tomorrow they're off because the national championship game. Hawks, Mavs back to back, and then we finish out with the tanking the season. Raptors. The season split that will be a oh, <laughs> the Toronto Raptors. If they lose, the, you know what the the only bright side is the Raptors are trying so hard to lose that if Miami wins these next two games, they will probably win. We'll I bet you probably. I, it would one. still be a dog fight with the Raptors. Oh, the oh. Oh, for sure. A hundred percent, bro. A thousand percent for sure. The, you the Raptors, me? Justice Winslow is going to get another 10 day and haunt us. <laughs> Honestly, bro, that'd be pretty, that'd be pretty fucking cool. Six three pointers from Justice to end the season. Oh, <laughs> no, nah, wait a second. That, that might, I, I might want that just for the content. Just for the <sighs> content. You know, I don't get how you're saying you always say that uh, the, the Dolphin stuff. Uh, that you don't, the Dolphins winning is bad for the podcast, but you're, you just said Justice knocking the heat into the play in would be great for content. I no, mean, I just, no sense. Here. No, you're right. No, it, it, it's more of a personal thing. I, I just, I just love him. I love him too. But I, no. I, I, I just, I just I love don't him. want to see that. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, and I, and I get that. And I get that. So, well, okay, you accept your, your, I apology. guess we'll see you. We're off tomorrow. We'll see you on Tuesday and then Wednesday for Heat Hawks. Yep. I, I don't even know what Doc Rivers. We'll fucking we'll get through this together, chat. Yep. I, hold on. I love this guy. I love Del, Del this guy in chat. He just uh Del Del Bush. How do you, how do you say Yeah. That? It's like can the Heat still make the six seed? I love Taylor. the fucking I saw, fashion. I saw somebody say that if the Heat went out uh and and the Pacers have three games if if they go one and two, which their schedule uh I believe they have two Okay, they're playing. They have the Raptors, okay. uh, as the Raptors, and they play the Cavs and the Hawks. So the Cavs okay. are still so, still have stuff to play for. The Hawks, I believe, are are in the play-in as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're they're still they're clinched in the play-in, so they're fighting to be the home seed for in the play-in. So, so I guess it they it's possible they they but there's a chance is what you're telling me, Frankie. I. I fully believe the 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 hot, the Pacers go one and two, and the the Heat lose one to the Raptors. Just the way this fucking season's been, that would be quite funny. <sighs> that would be just poetic. Just that'd just be funny, fitting. Um, we have quite the week, I guess, of Heat basketball left or or whatever. Those those five. Congrats or so to games. South Carolina. Congrats to South. Congrats to South Carolina and to UConn tomorrow. Sorry. Yeah, you guys like they're really good, right? I have not watched one single yeah. second of men's college basketball all year. All year, I I, I would bet you haven't seen in the la- in this decade. I yeah, I've watched <laughs> so much more women's college basketball because they're pretty cool, and yeah. I got to support men's college basketball. No, thank you. I've never liked it. I never will. Not that anybody asked me, but I just like reminding people because I'm that guy. Uh, see you, see you Tuesday, chat. Love y'all.